I do feel that following your creative path is not as easy as it seems. There will always be practical things that interfere. You need to have, get a job to support yourself and that might not be your passion, what you want to do. But to me, the most important thing in life is to be fulfilled in your life and in your work. And if you can somehow find a way of balancing that, the practicalities of what you need to do with what you love to do, and if by some chance they can come together and become the same thing, then you're golden. I think that Humber occupies a really important place in the sort of ecosystem of film and television programs because of what it offers. It rides this great balance between the creativity of this medium and the practicalities of working in this medium and learning those practicalities but also allowing the creativity to flourish. I would say to students, have a plan but be ready to abandon it at any moment. If you try to control too much, you're not seeing what is happening around you. I made a film called The Holy Earth Gets about taking my father's ashes back to India after he died. Everything fell apart, nothing went according to plan. And I, I, I just didn't know what to do. And in the beginning I thought, well, I have to somehow torture this footage to pretend that what I said I was going to do actually happened. And it wasn't until sort of midway through the edit of that film that I realized the whole film is about things not going according to plan. The whole film starts when things fall apart. And so there's always something that is devastating where I think, I'm never gonna finish this, it's, it's, going, it's never gonna work, we have to give the money back, like I go through that every single time. And then you come out the other end of it just by staying with it and being true to the material with that overall plan always in mind, but without that plan completely dictating a vision of the world that is not complex and real.